Good evening, church. It's Pastor James. And um, last Sunday, I shared a message from Ezekiel, that wonderful, well-known passage, Ezekiel 37, a passage of the Valley of the Dry Bones. Now, in this passage last Sunday, I shared a vision that the Lord showed me back in September. I was led into church. Uh, I was led into the city centre of Cambridge. And the Lord started to show me these dry bones, which are, in the message you will find out, the churches in a town centre of Cambridge. And the Lord took hold of me and started to show me how he felt towards these dry bones, towards these dry churches with dry messages and locked doors. And in this vision, the Lord asked me the question, can these dry bones live? Just like he did with Ezekiel. And in the passage that you're about to hear, you hear expanded of what the Lord's vision is for Cambridge Town Centre in the coming months, in the coming years. Essentially, it ends up with this. The question was, can these dry bones live? My answer was, yes, Lord, but only you can do it. And the Lord showed me that what he needs in the Cambridge Town Centre is not continual explanation. As you know, Cambridge is a university town. We're famous for uh, explaining everything. But what the town centre really needs is a proclamation of Jesus. A proclamation of what he's done. A proclamation about the cross, the burial, the death, the resurrection and ascension of Christ. And the very fact that he's coming again in glory. And that people need to repent, get right with God. So in essence, the, the proclamation is this. Keep it simple. Don't get into debate and dialogue, but simply proclaim Christ. Simply proclaim Jesus in the town centre. That's what this message is about. And at the end, we're going to be asking those to pray into this vision that the Lord's given us. To pray for help, to pray for doors to open, for other doors to be closed. So, listen to this message, and I pray that the Lord opens your ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to maybe you at this time. And I ask this in Jesus' name. God bless you and be with you.